Hey guys, can you believe 2019 is almost over? I know I can't. And I have been thinking, I've actually been reflecting on my year and I know it isn't like New Year's Eve and it really isn't time to really you know, think about all of that. But I've seen so many videos where people have talked about their favorites of 2019. And I kept thinking, well, geez, you know, I really don't have all that many favorites to, to really talk about for 2019. And I thought, what can I share? What can I really talk about? And then I kept thinking about it and I'm going, wow, I actually do have a number of things that I can share that have been extra special to me that have really meant a lot. And some of that is my skincare and some of that is lifestyle. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, before I before I really go full force and heavy into products, I want to say the number one thing that I have so, so appreciated in 2019 is every single one of you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart because I swear, I know everyone says that they have the most wonderful group of, of subscribers, but I think mine are the best, absolutely the best. So many of you have reached out to me. So many of you have sent prayers for my dad. So many of you have been along this journey with me and just shared parts of yourself with me. And it's so, it's it's like overwhelmingly, I don't even know how to say it. it. It's such a warm feeling, such warm and fuzzies that every single one of you, I mean, you, you're subscribers to the channel in most cases, but you're way, way beyond that. You're people and you've contributed to me in the sense of sharing parts of you that have helped me become better or more understanding or more rounded or whatever. But I so appreciate every single one of you. And secondly, in 2019, I had the, I think early on in 2019, I had a goal of meeting a few particular people, a few particular YouTube content creators. And two of them stood out very early on because we had been talking back and forth and we'd been trying to plan something back and forth. And we, we were to the point where we talk every single day on a technology called Voxer. And it's like a it's sort of like a walkie talkie app, but it's really it's really awesome. It doesn't go against your minutes. It you know, it doesn't cost you anything, it's free. I really love it. So we had been talking and then we had we talked about how can, can we meet up, you know, because we felt like such, such a good closeness and such a good bond, a solid bond. So one of the huge, I mean, huge highlight was planning my first trip to meet up with these wonderful two YouTubers. And I know you know exactly who I'm talking about. Sheila with her husband, David, and Marlene with her husband, Wayne, and my husband, Jay, and I, we all met at Sheila's Beach House in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, South Carolina, you get those Carolinas messed up. And we had, we just had a, the most amazing long weekend there. It was a really, we went Thursday and I think we came home on Monday and they surprised me with a 10K anniversary cake for YouTube. And it was, it was just the most amazing weekend. I absolutely love these ladies to death. Meeting them in real life was like just the best of the best ever. And then another trip that was planned for me in 2019 was meeting up with an other group of YouTubers. So two of them I knew I was going to meet. I just didn't know who else because there was a couple of other people thrown into the mix that we thought we were going to connect with. So the first, um, the first one was Gail uh, Random Life Production. I'd met her before, but she was coming over with Bella and Bella Beauty on the Budget. Um, she she had never been to the States and so we were first planning a meet up in New York and we thought maybe we could connect up with a few other people in New York and then we talked about meeting in Tennessee. So when Bella and Gail came they went to New York. I couldn't make New York. It was too close to the birth of my grandson. So we ended up connecting in Tennessee. I tried to connect up with them in Massachusetts because they had met up with Kathy A. And Kathy A has a channel, I'm sure you all know who she is, but that didn't really work out. Kathy had him for, I think, two days, 
and and she's had a really tight schedule and then at the same time I had a really tight schedule so it, that coordination did not work out but Tennessee did so I met up with and met Bella and Gail in Tennessee and then we had Marta who is a vlogger from Florida join us and then we had Kristen Miss Kristen 321 and, and Melissa they drove hours, the two of them, to come to meet us in our, where we were in Nashville. And I, I was just amazed that they took all that time for a short day, basically. But they came and they had a great time. And Marta flew in from Florida, but she was there for a few days with us. So it was really, really good. So in 2019, I met a number of YouTubers. And those that I didn't get to meet, you know who you are. I know we're going to meet in 2020 because <laughs> that's definitely in the plan. So 2020, yes, absolutely. So I have to say that was my favorite year. You, all of you, my subscribers and the YouTubers I met were just absolutely, absolutely priceless. I need to have a drink. Mm. So of my favorites, uh, I think for me it'll be pretty easy to narrow it down. I have probably the number one game changer for me was in my skin care and also in, I guess, pain care, I guess if you want to talk in, in that sense, but was my CBD products. And the CBD products that I had that I, I got early on was the very first one was Adori. I absolutely adore Adori. Now they have a number of products. They have um, a, a number of different products. This is a woman-owned indie company and Holly who owns Adori is absolutely fantastic. This cream is called Oh So Nice. It is a CBD cream. It is kind of funny. I know Marlene uses this now too and I know that it's helped with her pain level and all that and I've been, I use this almost in a completely different way. I've used it actually on my face. I don't know if it's supposed to go on your face or not, but I've used it as a little bit of a, especially when I get close to my eyes here and if I have a little bit of a soreness from my retin-A, this takes it right away. It's not too heavy, it's not too greasy at all. It feels really good, it's cooling, it's healing. I've had bug bites disappear. I've had a, a rash from poison, I always say this wrong, ivy, ivory, ivy, ivy, poison, ivy, ivory, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? I've had that go away. I've used this on my skin as well as in other places. So this was initially sent to me. I, I can't recommend this enough. And I know Marlene talks about it too for different types of product relief. The second one that has made a huge difference to me was the actual face oil. The very first one I got was the Flora and Bass. I really like the Flora and Bass a lot. It was like $88 for a, a bottle and the milligrams, the CBD, the makeup of the com composition of the product is just excellent. I really like that a lot. I, however, started to use the Maku, which was a, so the Flora and Bass I bought the Maku initially was sent to me for review, and what I do is the Maku is a much higher, this is the 2,500 milligrams. Now, that's in the entire bottle, of course, so you have to take the into account the dropper and then the drop size. But this is a much higher potency, so to speak, so I usually mix that with a little bit of an oil, or even you could do a cream, but I usually put that with a little bit of oil and I put that on my trouble areas and then spread around my face. I really love it. It does have a woodsy smell, a stronger smell, but I, it's been a game changer. The CBD face serum, face oils that I use has been a game changer. Now, one of you, one of my subscribers is now in a, um, has now joined a, um, a company, I can't remember the name of it, that sells CBD products. And She's talked to me back and forth about a CBD. I have not tried her brand. I have looked at it, but I have not tried her brand. Once I'm done, I have no problem trying another CBD, but I'm hesitant because I'm very particularly about the ingredients and you know what's worked really well that I've used on my face, I, I feel really comfortable with. 
the third CBD, and this is the one that Jay really uses the most, I mean, absolutely, is the Realm. We have the Recovery Stick. This is the second one we're on. This is like a deodorant roll-on. You open it up and you just, um, you just, you know, use it just like a deodorant roll-on on your pain. This has helped knee pain. Is it going to take away pain forever? No. It's, it's more like a really wonderful temporary relief, depending on the level of the pain, obviously. So when Jay uses this on his back, on his knees, on his hips, especially when he's golfing, there's one called the active, there's one called the recovery, and there's one called the calm. Now I haven't used the calm yet. I have that's unopened, but I'm I'm think I'm going to have to look into exactly how you would use the calm. And then I have aside from the roll-on, they sent me some of the little recovery creams. These are perfect for traveling. So I have to say, my stash of CBD products have been absolutely amazing and uh, all-time favorite next for my all-time favorite I, I I couldn't go anywhere without this and I don't use this every day but I do use it a lot and I really love this this is called the Lumify and these are the eye drops that brighten your eyes up that lighten your eyes up especially if your eyes are bloodshot like say if you if you're not sleeping well and your eyes are bloodshot and stuff like that. The Lumify really lightens your eyes up. And, and I, think, I think that looks ab absolutely beautiful. So next would be my fill-in powder for my roots. I do have the Wow. A lot of people have talked about the Wow. And I like the Wow a lot. This is a fill-in powder, sort of like when you have gray roots showing and all of that stuff. But what I prefer is the fill-in powder and it's actually called fill-in powder and I'll have to look at the name for you but I much prefer this small one you can see I've hit pan in it I ha it's a lighter brown and a darker brown and both work really good with my natural shade so I have a little brush and I just brush it on my roots when I need to and so either one of these would definitely be something I cannot be without without 2019 brought Built Bars into my life. <laughs> and Built Bars is a company that, the, you know, they're not just standing still. They've got a, they're not just like, okay, I've got a couple of products, I'm finding success. They keep trying new ingredients, new flavors, you know, um, a, a energy drink, a new, men, they're expanding. But their Built Bars are awesome and I've talked about these before so these are a game changer for me in 2019 because there is I can I usually cut them up because they're very gooey and I like a gooey bar they're very filling but I usually cut them up and sometimes I'll leave them in here when I cut them up or sometimes I'll put them in a little baggie I usually put them in in refrigerator or my freezer or in my cooler bag so when I'm on the run and I, I just want to grab one of these and they're cut up they're so delicious you have to stop yourself from eating them all you really do they're so delicious and I am I, I think I'm a snob when it comes to energy bars low carb low sugar you know um, they're just really super good so these are definitely a game changer for me without a doubt I love my built bars the other thing that I love and I've got a whole stack of primers I've been trying primers and I still have more primers to try so I'm not done trying primers but I must tell you out of all the primers that I have ever tried and I should bring that basket it's in the other room I should bring that basket in one time and you can freak out I've actually given a lot of it away but the only time the only primer that I really love that I keep going back to is this little stinking drugstore primer and it's called the elf Poreless Putty Primer. This is my second one, guys. I just keep digging into this and digging into this. I just keep going back to this. I love this. This, to me, actually does fill in my pores. It actually does keep my makeup on that my trouble spots. This, to me, is just absolutely perfect. Perfect. I love it. 
So I would not be without that. And I still would not be without my Benefit. This is the Boeing. I still have the little container one that I really like. This is the concealer, the Industrial Strength Concealer. You can see, I love this one. And I also love the new one, which is there. This is the Benefit. Oh, this one is really good in the Doe Fit applicator. I never bring anything up really close to my eyes. I sometimes, if I have to brighten, I use this Essence in the pink. And so I guess this is also a favorite. It was out. And I will dab a little bit to, you know, around my eyes to brighten if I need it. But I never bring a whole bunch of foundation or concealer up under my eyes. I just think everything, including this, I haven't found anything that, and I am unfortunate enough that I'm a smiley person. So when you are a smiley person, you get those lines big time. And I say unfortunate because I'm always smiling, so those lines are always there. So I'm very conscious about not having anything up there that's going to accent them. Because every time when I've done that and I've looked at like a picture of myself, I just got like these tree box growing out of my eyes, you know, and there's like going this way, all these branches and ridges and all that stuff, and I go gross. So I'd rather have the discoloration than the one colored skin that's rutted with wrinkles. I'd rather have the discoloration. What can I say? So on to the rest of my favorites. I think I had received one of these as a gift from Sheila. I don't know. She sent it to me. I think I, no, I think I won the initial first one in one of her giveaways way back. And I've talked about this before. This, I have several of these lip tints and this is the one I got most recently, but I have several of these and, ah, uh, this is cinnamony. Oh my God. I love these. You get these in Bath and Body Works and I love them so much that when they go on sale, I buy a stack of them. On the same hand, on Bath and Body Works, I love their three wick candles. I don't have one to show you because my order hasn't come in. But when they had that big, big um, holiday sale where you could get them, the candles are normally $24. You could get it for $9.50. So I ordered a ton of them. So that brings me to my eye cream. This has been hands down the eye cream I've used for the last and kept going back. Now I do use the pure 100% coffee bean under my eyes and I've been doing some other eye treatments and all that stuff, but this is the cream I keep going back to. So to me, this timeless, this is the eye serum um, hydrating eye. This is just to me the best, the best, the best. So this is the best for me in 2019. I believe it also was the best in 2018. I really love it. Foundations has to be hands down. If I'm going to go high end, it's going to be my Estee Lauder. I have two backups in the color 3C2 because that's my color. I do want to try one of the different colors, but I haven't got it yet. And this is the current bottle that I'm on. If I am looking for a foundation that's going to be a no fail for me for my skin, then I know how it's going to hold up, how it's going to last. I have a, I have. A number of foundations. I have YSL, I have a Lancome, I've got a Kevin Aquan, I've got some high-end foundations but I keep going back to this as my favorite for more all the time, almost very consistently. So a lot of times if I'm doing high-end, this is what I'm grabbing. If I'm doing drugstore hands down, my CYO has beat out every drugstore foundation I have ever tried including my Boots number no. 7. I have several bottles of this. You can see I'm almost out. So my CYO has been my everyday beat around drugstore foundation. And then they have this stopping. They're not making it. So I have the Kick-Ass in the number four and the Kick-Ass in the number five, which is the exact same thing as the CYO. It, it is I've used it already. It applies the same. It lasts the same. It looks the same. It covers the same. Everything is the same. It's made from the same manufacturer. It's owned by the same corporate corporation as the CYO. The only difference is they don't make the CYO anymore. And this is three times the price if it's not on sale. So it was a great way for Boots to increase, to take what is a cult favorite, which is the CYO, a cult favorite, repackage it, 
and into soap and glory and to kick ass and charge a heck of a lot more. So I thought, wow, well, okay, thank you so much. Yeah, but that's what they've done. So anyways, I, I know I'm probably rambling on a little bit about my favorites and here I started out with saying I'm not going to have any favorites and I'm probably close to 27 minutes of favorites. But, um, but yeah, I, I do have some favorites. <laughs> So anyways, I am going to try to do maybe a series the best of, you know, a few different items as I go through. I don't know, maybe not, but I don't know. I'm thinking about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I went so long. On my head today is my, this is uh, my John Renault Kristen. This is a synthetic wig, and I am going to be recording the wig chat video next. So you should see that coming up next after this video. I think this one, this video should be published before Christmas, I think. And I'm going to have a vlog for after Christmas because Jay and I, if everything works out, going away. So I'll have probably more of a vlog style. So this will be published before Christmas. And anyways, I'll stop babbling. Thank you all so much. And if I don't see you before Christmas, I wish you all a very, very happy holiday. And I hope that you'll celebrate it in whatever manner you choose. And I just hope that it's happy, that it's healthy. No, I shouldn't say healthy. <laughs> Drink if you want. And I'm just drinking tonic. I'm not drinking booze. Although the idea of adding a shot to this is pretty darn appealing. <laughs> Anyways, happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy, I don't know. I know there's many. However you celebrate, have a happy, happy. Happy, happy. Cheers. Happy, happy. <laughs>